Hi! I just finished typing a vlogger entry and I have nothing better to do than to make a video. <sighs> Especially since the gym's closed because it's New Year's Eve and I can't go until tomorrow so I'm gonna do a taste testing video because I still have a milk tea from like last last week or last week that I didn't try yet. And I also went to go buy like sandwich bread and then I saw this thing. It's called Milky. It's not Milky. It's called Melty Blend. And uh, I'll talk about this later. But first, I'm gonna try this tea time tiramisu milk tea. And if it's anything like the last milk tea I tried, the Earl Grey milk tea one, it's gonna taste like soy milk and nothing else because I hate the taste of soy milk. But here we go. Maybe I should have shaken it first. <laughs> This? Uh, this is not good. <laughs> I taste like the tiramisu, but then it's not milk tea. I'm just gonna stick with Boba's stories now. I have no hope or faith in bottled milk teas. Good thing I have post-Christmas chocolates to drown out the taste. Starting with mint flavored M&Ms, which is not seasonal. I think the only seasonal thing about this is that it's colored in red, green, and white. But if you look at it off season, it's just like green and light green. But yeah, this is like my favorite M&M next to the original one and the peanut one. Let's turn out flavor. Oh. My asshole brother is gonna finish the rest of this. Well, anyways, onto this melty blend. I've been watching some videos on Japan, and like, this was one of the things that they recommend taking home, like as a gift to your family. But I saw this in the market, so I wanted to try it. And this one's the Royal Milk Tea flavored one, so I was like, milk tea, must try. Here's what it looks like first. Ew. And if it looks like I'm cold, I really am. I'm like freezing right now. It's because my house doesn't have insulation, okay? I'm also from Southern California, so I'm like Southern California cold. So, yeah. So fancy. This kind of reminds me of the fundraiser chocolate. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. But around here, during like spring, when the little kids sell chocolates, they sell like mint ones, and this reminds me of it. And I buy like twenty dollars of worth of them at a time. Hmm. This is just chocolate, but this one has multi flavor chocolate, and this is pretty yummy. I'm gonna have like three more now before I finish the rest of it in like one go. A serving is one and a half and there's ten. So there's like 15 of these. I can't do math. This makes me want to try the matcha one now, but these are expensive, they're like three dollars a box. So if you're in a store looking for a good bottle of milk tea, I don't suggest trying the tea time ones. Because they just taste like soy milk. And yeah, I don't know. Coming from a place with lots of like boba stores, I would rather just go there. But I still really want to try the Kirin one. <sighs> Hopefully, I find it one day. This, on the other hand, is delicious. I kind of want to get my friend to try this, but I don't know if I can save it until like then. It's just funny how this doesn't look like chocolate until you eat it, because it looks like it's covered in like a cracker or something. I don't know. Well, anyways, that was pretty much it for this week's video. Uh, cheers to the new year. Hopefully, I guess I'll post more half-naked videos because those get the most views. But um, if you guys are bored and like to read, I did post up. Well, I've been posting weekly vlogs or like attached to my videos in those vlogs. So if you like reading um, upcoming hauls, are based on the stuff I purchased and posted on there. 
So they're worth checking out. So if you are interested, check out my description box for my link to my blogger. Other than that, I hope you all guys are having a good New Year's. And here's to 2016. Bye!